Praise the Lord, everyone. It's time for morning prayer and devotion on this Thursday, September 15th. Unbelievably, we are already halfway through another month. Thank you for joining me today. Looking forward to praying with you and believing with you for answers to each of our requests today. Uh, I'm glad to report to you this morning that uh, Beulah Ziegler, my mother-in-law, um, reported in that her procedure went well uh, on Tuesday, I believe it was, and that the procedure on her knee did seem to help the pain. And if it continues to help, they will probably do the next phase next week. She thanks everyone for praying for her. Rick Merrick is also doing a lot better. They removed his drain tube Tuesday, and he hopes to be back at work by the end of the month. So that is great progress for Rick, and we celebrate that victory with him. In our prayer request this morning, we want to continue praying for uh, the Vaughn family. June Vaughn passed away over the weekend. Also, uh, Cooper Durr's uh, senior class from Greenville lost a classmate recently, and they need our continued prayers. We're also praying for the family of Kay Brawley, uh, who passed away yesterday morning, that God would strengthen and comfort them during this time. In our health needs this morning, uh, Leslie Sutton and also Regina Marlin and her granddaughters, Aubrey and Lorraine, all have been battling sinus infections. Leslie's daughter, Sophia, is undergoing treatment for scoliosis. We have many who are battling cancer. My aunt, Virginia Pride, has stage three breast cancer. She has recently received encouraging reports and we're believing for her complete recovery. Leslie Sutton's pastor's grandson, Sawyer, has eye cancer and they're afraid that he may lose his eye. Belinda Bauer, Monica Harmon, Philip Randall, Kathy Burks, Edie Percival, Michelle Strand's sister Cindy, Tony Nelson, Dwayne Lewis, Alicia Piero, Carmen's neighbor Eddie, Alice Elizabeth, Christy Smith, a lady here in Puxico with stage four metastatic breast cancer, Michael Bowen, Marsha Moore's friend's grandparents, and also Marsha's co-worker's brother, Ari Bowers, Diane Escher, Linda Fox, Kathy Benson, Claire, Sherry, Dennis Phelps, Sylvia Larimore, Kay, Scott Lucia, and Kristen's friend Betty, all needing healing of cancer. Uh, Sherry also has a lupus diagnosis, and Tony Nelson has fast-growing cataracts on both the eyes that he's needing to have removed. Uh, we're praying for Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker. These are children who are battling cancer. Other children in need of our prayers today include Arlo, Baby G, Gus Sappington's grandson, Abby Young, Brantley and Elsie, Abram Page, Abel Ray, Dantano Lopez. Zach Cox is asking us to continue praying for his mother. She has been in the hospital with COVID pneumonia. Uh, LaVon, Michael and Grover, Kendra and Robbie uh, need healing of uh, chronic uh, respiratory issues. Um, Beth Wheatley has been sick this week and needs our prayers. We're praying for several with heart problems, including Carmen's friend Sean, Mike Sappington, uh, Joyce Fisk, Sister Patty Arnold, Cheryl LaChance, Jimmy Warren, Janie Parrott's nephew Blaine, Kenny Prenzel, and Michelle Strain's mother. Uh, also, Pastor Gail Beecher from Ellington, Missouri, uh, who had a heart attack this past Sunday, and Marsha's uh, cousin's son, Rusty, uh, who has gone into AFib after having some recent tests indicating possible cancer, and he's also struggling with issues with his insurance. We're praying for Sarah Stroop, Marty DeLott, Riley March, and Carmen's sister, Tracy, for healing of MS. Um, Sheila Sadler and her husband and brother need our continued prayers uh, for special need. We're praying for Johnny, for Beth Wheatley, Marsha Moore, Melania Cummins, and Marsha's co-worker son, who are all needing healing of migraines. We're praying for Cheryl Chance's family member and Sue Helton Morris's brother, who have ongoing difficulty due to head injuries in the past. Uh, those with back pain include uh, Tammy Lawson, Melania Cummins, Lori Gravel, Michael Parrott, Brianna Williams, Carolyn Rogers, Becky Wilson, Bob O., Brent Moore, Terry Nelson, Cindy Page, uh, Pam Pulliam's daughter, Jenny. We're praying for Rose Brown and June Coffer, who suffer with arthritis. 
If Renee has mobility issues due to problems with her hips and knees, Chris Ramey needs healing of her knees, uh, unable to walk due to those mobility issues. We're praying for those with Parkinson's, including my dad, also Russ, Tim Workman, Marsha's mother-in-law, Vivian, Joey Etheridge, and my mother-in-law, Beulah Ziegler. Uh, those with diabetes, Tim Workman, Cindy and Lloyd Page, Emily Stanley, J.R. Johnson, Becca and her mother, Christina, myself, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Brother Pulliam, Cheryl LaChance, Rose Brown, Evie, Christian Carr, and Titus Dornbach. For those with stomach issues, Olivia, Kristen's neighbor, Natalie, Regina Marlin's granddaughter, Aubrey, Heather Spence, and Michael Parrott. We're praying for Mara Sullivan, pastor's wife in New Haven, Missouri. She suffers with lupus and autoimmune cerebritis. We're also praying for Mr. Lauren and Miss Judy, an uh, elderly couple with uh, lots of issues going on. Mr. Lauren needs severe heart and lung healing. We need to pray for strength for Miss Judy, who's trying to take care of everything around the home herself. And our other health needs today, Jimmy Holden, Jim Johnson, Charles Gossett, Nicole, Nancy Scott's dad, John Belter, Meredith, Chloe Isaac, Mike and Tony Hodge, Regina Bishop, Judy's brother, Phyllis Robinette, Wilda Morrison, Devin Huff, Shirley Garner, Pat Wills, and Gary Nelson needing our continued prayers. Christian's brother Bob needs our prayers as he is trying to get his home cleaned up after the flooding in Chicago on Sunday. Also prayers for Kristen and her mother Vivian as Vivian has come to live with uh, Kristen during this uh, time of cleanup. We're praying for continued recovery for Kristen's cousin Grady who she reported yesterday was recovering well from his motorcycle accident. He is supposed to be in a neck brace for the next three months but he is already home and in good spirits. We're thankful for that report. Deanna Hemby is recovering from knee replacement. Brother Huey, Carmen's cousins Kelly and Shannon, Tina's mother, and Sheila Sappington are all recovering from stroke. Sheila also going through rehab in a nursing home right now due to a recent leg amputation. We're also praying for Ashley Johnson, a teenage girl uh, from the Crothersville area who uh, was shot in left for dead, miraculously survived, and has been going through months now of therapy to regain function. Uh, Christian's Uncle Monty has been under hospice care. Let's continue to pray for him and for his family. Let's pray for Carmen's friend Randy and his wife and young son, and for Pam Pulliam's unspoken request. In our spiritual and family needs today, we need to remember Cheryl's family member. We need to remember uh, Grace again this morning and her circle of friends praying for wholeness and peace in her best friend's family, uh, Johnny Nelson's family, Jennifer and Brenda's family, Judy and Mike's family, Alan, Annette and Dave, Regina Marlin's family, J.R. Johnson, Alicia, Art Chandler, the Rush family, uh, Johnny Nelson uh, asked us to pray for a lady he invited to church last week and uh, needs to overcome barriers between her and the church due to things in the past. I pray for those who need deliverance from addictions, especially this morning. Continue praying for Dawson and William. Pray also for Pam Davies, who's uh, taking care of her husband, who has uh, problems due to alcohol addiction and the related health issues. Debbie Biddick's daughters and their families need salvation. The Sappington family, Carrie Jones and her children, Matt and Michaela, Mark and Caitlin, Marcia and Britt, need continued prayers for their family. I believe Josh has a court date this morning. Uh, Baby G has an adoption proceeding uh, that's coming up as well. Beulah's family, Jenny Perkins' sister Lisa, needs mental, emotional, and spiritual healing. Uh, we're praying for Dana Vasquez, uh, who needs the Lord in her life today. Mingo RCF residents will be having Bible study again there today. Let's pray for good results. Our Mingo Job Corps students and alumni, uh, Rose Brown's granddaughter, her husband and children. Maury needs prayer for his finances and for his children. And we're praying for Charles Gossett, who's been facing a life change. Uh, our global North American missionaries need our continual prayers. We're focusing on Mark and Glenda Alphen, missionaries to Finland and Iceland this month. Uh, we're praying for an end to the war in Ukraine and for God's protection for our missionaries in that nation and also uh, in Russia and the surrounding areas of the conflict. 
We have many missionaries on the European continent that are in need of our prayers uh, today. Our North American missions focus is on Bloomfield, Missouri, the new work pastored by Aaron and Kelly Mitchell. Uh, we're praying for um, our global mission service at GVWC on Sunday, October 2nd. We have missionaries to Japan, Jason and Corey Lucas, who will be with us in that service. And we also ask that you cover our revival service this weekend, this Sunday, with Rodney and Candace Barlow uh, in your prayers as we're anticipating a great move of God um, uh, in, in people's lives on that day. Good morning to each of you. Welcome to you, Marsha. And Marsha is telling us that Josh's hearing is today at 1 o'clock. So let's be keeping him in our prayers. Uh, good to see you this morning, Johnny and Judy. Uh, Carmen, good to see you with us this morning. And um, I believe I mentioned Marsha. There's Sherman with us this morning. And Kristen, God bless each of you who are praying with us again this morning. I want to read to you from the word of the Lord this morning in uh, the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 4. It says, Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I sanctified you. I ordained you a prophet to the nations. Then said I, O oh Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a youth. But the Lord said to me, Do not say I am a youth, for you shall go to all to whom I send you, and whatever I command you, you shall speak. Do not be afraid of their faces, for I am with you to deliver you, says the Lord. Then the Lord put his hand forth and touched my mouth, and the Lord said to me, Behold, I have put my words in your mouth. See, I have this day set you over the nations and over the kingdoms. I remember very well the day that I received my call uh, into the ministry. Um, it was the month before I turned 16 years old. It was at a, a youth camp right here in the Missouri district at the old um, uh, Gateway campus. And uh, I received the call over there in a very powerful service and in a very powerful way. God let me know that his calling was upon me for that particular purpose, specifically to uh, preach his word. That was quite overwhelming to me uh, at the age of 15. Uh, getting ready to turn 16, it changed the plans of my entire life in uh, just a moment of time. Uh, but in that, I felt very uh, insecure, afraid, nervous. All those would be descriptive words. Um, just feeling like I was not able to do what God had called me to do. Uh, didn't have any doubt that uh, I wouldn't grow into that calling, but uh, just, just nervousness and intrepidation, just the thought of that, trying to take it all in. And um, when I say I received the calling, uh, I believe just like Jeremiah, the calling was always there. It just I did not have the awareness or the certainty of it until that moment. And the prophet Jeremiah was also afraid of his calling. He told God that he was too young and that he couldn't speak well. And, and he said, you know, why, why me? So maybe you feel that way too. Perhaps God is calling you to uh, do something new to lead a Sunday school class to pursue some other ministry endeavor but you feel afraid and unqualified but take heart today and understand that God's message to Jeremiah applies to all of us he has been preparing you and me for the moment we are at right now and he's been preparing you for this your entire life it's not the will of God that you only sit on the church pew and participate in a worship service. God has a ministry for each of you. Uh, no, it, it may not be a pulpit ministry or a traveling evangelistic ministry or the things that so many people typically refer to as ministry, but we have a very, very narrow concept, at least in uh, Pentecostal circles, of what ministry really is. But we need the whole church involved in ministry, and there are things that God is calling you to do that others are not available to do or do not have the skill set to do. And every joint in the body of Christ must be supplying what is needed for the rest of the body. And you fit in there somewhere. So don't be afraid of who or what may come against you. 
Jesus is with you. He will deliver you from any problem. Allow the Holy Ghost to give you the words and speak them forth with boldness. You are, are never too young or too old to serve in his kingdom. Go and make a difference in your world today. And let's continue making a difference through this important ministry of prayer this morning. Let's go to the Lord in prayer right now. And let's believe him to move in all of these needs today. We know that he's with us and that he's going to empower our prayers today uh, to do his perfect will. Heavenly Father, we come to you again this morning so thankful for your goodness, for your love toward us. Lord, for your loving kindness that is better than life. Hallelujah. Lord, we come to praise you today, not just with our lips, not just with our hands, but we lift up our hearts today to you, saying, Lord, we want to be one with each other and one with you today in purpose. Unite us, Lord, that we can do your will. Help each of us to realize our place in your kingdom, Lord, to receive that calling that you have placed upon us and the thing that you have ordained for us to do. Let your will be done in us this morning and let your kingdom come. Hallelujah. Let your will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Move in our lives today, God. We ask that you would forgive us of any transgression or any sin today, any departure from your will. Help us, God, to correct course if we are drifting. Help us to be everything that you want us to be, not to lose focus, God. Let our eye be single today and the body full of light. In the name of Jesus, we pray. We believe today, God, that you're going to minister right now through our prayers, that you're going to send angels to the place where people are hurting and are in trouble and are dealing with situations. Those who need comfort and peace and strength today, these who have just lost a loved one that we're praying for today, we believe, God, that you're going to comfort and strengthen their hearts as we pray. We believe for Kay's, Brawley's family, and for June Vaughn's family that your peace and your strength is with them right now. We believe for Cooper and all of his classmates at Greenville who have suffered the loss of a classmate. Oh, God, we pray you'd reach down right now and just wrap your arms around them. Hallelujah. Protect their minds today. Hallelujah. Strengthen and encourage them and comfort them. We pray for healing today for those who are battling sickness. You see Leslie and Regina, Aubrey and Lorraine, who are battling with sinus infection today. You see Sophia, who's been going through treatments for scoliosis. We believe for her healing today and for these other children, Lord. We believe for Lorelei, Jenna, and Tucker for healing of cancer. We pray for Arlo as he continues to recover, for baby G's health issues, for Gus's grandson and Abby Young, that they would overcome this developmental delay. We pray for Brantley and Elsie for healing of their heart, for Abram Page and Abel Ray, that they would receive their healing touch, their miracle today. We lift up Tano once again, believing for healing of spina bifida. God, we lift up all of these adults who are suffering with cancer. So many on our list today, names that we call out each and every day, and we believe, God, that you're hearing our prayers, and we're just waiting, God, upon that moment that your right hand of power comes forth. We know that you're working on the left hand where we cannot see what you're doing. But, Lord, we thank you that we know that your right hand of power is soon going to show, hallelujah, and you're going to do the work that only you can do in their lives. So we give you praise for it right now. We believe for healing of COVID. You see those who are battling COVID today. You see uh, Zach's mother today, God, minister healing to her. These who have chronic lung conditions, uh, we believe for their healing. Lord, you see Sister Beth today. We pray you would give her strength and a healing touch right now. We pray for Chloe, God. You see her situation. We're believing for deliverance. We're believing for you to move, God, not only in Chloe's life, but in her entire family today. Oh, God, work a miracle, we pray. In Jesus' name, we pray, God, for these who are suffering with heart issues today. Lord, these who have had heart attacks recently, these who have uh, atrial fibrillation and other irregularities of their heart, we believe for complete healing today. We believe for Rusty's healing right now. Hallelujah, Lord, for his insurance issues to be resolved. We believe, God, for healing of MS. We believe for healing of migraines healing of these ongoing issues caused by head injuries in the past. 
We pray for Sheila Sadler and her husband and her brother. In the name of Jesus, reach down. God, whatever their need is today, we believe for your touch. Uh, we believe for healing of back pain and leg pain, uh, hip pain and other joint pain today. God, arthritis, we come against them. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we believe you today. We believe your word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you right now, God, for being our healer, for being our provider, for being our protector and our deliverer. And your word tells us that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but in your faithfulness, Lord, you deliver us out of them all, each and every one we claim victory for today. We believe for healing of Parkinson's disease. We believe for healing of diabetes, healing of chronic stomach issues right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, touch Sister Sullivan today. We believe for healing of autoimmune disorders, healing of lupus. We pray for this elderly couple, Mr. Lauren and Miss Judy, God, that you would reach down into their home today and minister the touch that they need to them. We believe for these others who are dealing with health problems, that you would move in their situation today. Touch uh, Pat Wells and Gary Nelson, Shirley Garner, Devin Huff, Wilda Morrison, Phyllis Robinette. We pray for Judy's brother again today. Regina Bishop and Mike and Tony, uh, Meredith and Rick and Nancy's dad and John Belter. We pray for Charles Gossett and Jim Johnson, for Jimmy Holden and Nicole in Jesus' name. We pray for Vivian today. Lord, touch her mind, give her clarity, give her strength today as she has transitioned into a new living situation temporarily. We pray for Kristen and for her brother Bob, for everyone that's dealing with this situation with Bob's home. We pray, God, that you would reach down and move and help him, Lord, to get all the cleanup done. We believe, God, today for continued recovery for Grady, for Deanna Hemby, for Ashley Johnson, for Sheila Sappington, for Tina's mother, for Kelly and Shannon, and for Brother Huey. We pray today, God, for the unspoken needs. You see Sister Pam's need. You see Carmen's friend Randy and his wife and his son today. Lord, move in their situation. We pray for Kristen's Uncle Monty once again today. Be with that family. Be with him today. Give them peace, Lord, in the midst of the storm today. Hallelujah. We believe, God, that you're moving in all of our needs. You're moving, Lord, for our global and North American missionaries today. We believe, God, for your work to overspread the earth. Hallelujah. For the whole earth to be filled with your glory. We're not looking. Our hope is not in the political systems of the world. Our hope is not in politicians today, but our hope is in you, God, and, we, and in the revival that you have for this world. Oh, God, let it spring forth today. Let the water of your presence flow into the dry places. Let healing come where it's needed today. Lord, heal our land as we humble ourselves and pray and seek your face today. Hallelujah, Lord. Touch our missionaries in Finland and Iceland, brother and sister Alf, and God, we pray your hand of protection and guidance upon them today. Lord, give them liberty to minister. Give them new areas, Lord, that they can make inroads into today. We pray for Aaron and Kelly Mitchell in Bloomfield. God, that you would just cover that work and give them the breakthrough that they need, Lord, for that church to be able to thrive and to be able to win many souls to you in that city and in this county. We pray, Lord, against the war in Ukraine. We believe, God, for deliverance for that nation. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray for protection for the citizens, the soldiers, the missionaries. We pray your blessing upon the countries that have taken in refugees and are ministering to the humanitarian needs that are there. In the name of Jesus, Lord, give our world leaders wisdom. Lord, give our leaders here in America wisdom. Let your will be done in the upcoming elections, Lord. Let this nation's heart be turned to you once again. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, move in our revival services this weekend. In Jesus' name, we pray for Jason and Corey Lucas. God, that you would move in our mission service with them in a couple of weeks. And in our revival service with the Barlows this Sunday, God, let there be a mighty move of your spirit. Pour out your spirit upon us. In the name of Jesus, we give you praise. We give you thanks. In Jesus' wonderful name. Amen. God bless you this morning. Thank you for praying with me once again.
and I see that some of you are posting some more requests on the list right now. Um, Leslie with strep throat, Johnny requesting special prayer uh, over Vera Lynn and Tony today as uh, they're traveling back and forth to St. Louis for treatments, and that, of course, takes its toll. I'm sure there's probably some other needs that are posted. These are the ones I see on the screen right now. So let's remember these needs in our prayers throughout the day and into tomorrow when we come back for our final prayer session. If you have submitted a praise report, I'll certainly be looking at that and adding it to our victory report for tomorrow. If you have prayer needs, they'll be added to the list, and we'll be praying with you throughout the day. Share these videos with someone who you feel would, uh, would be blessed by it, and let's continue to spread the good word of the gospel through this early morning prayer ministry. I'll see you tomorrow morning right here on Facebook Live once again at 7.30 a.m.